Hi, in this video, I will show you three different ways of deploying your app on the developer sandbox for Red Hat OpenShift. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. So here I'm on my uh, Red Hat OpenShift sandbox. It's empty for now. I haven't deployed anything. And I'm on the developer uh, perspective because I'm a developer. Okay. And um, there are different ways of adding your application to this um, sandbox. Today, I'm going to show you three different ways. Okay. We will see how to use directly a container, how to use a Git repo. And finally, we will see how we can upload a jar file directly. Let's start with the first one, a container image. So this is if you master the concept of containers, you know how to craft your own Docker file, uh, you know how to do a Docker push, or you know how to use Podman, or you know how to use JIP. Anyway, you have your container image and now you want to deploy it. So let's try out this option. I click here and as you can see, I am on the screen where there's one really important thing to, to uh, fill in is the location of my container image, of course. So for me, uh, it's located on Quay.io. That's the registry from Red Hat. Sebastian Blanc is my username. Zero slash. Uh, and my container image is called Hello Sandbox. There's some validation happening. It's validated. Awesome. And now I can uh, change the icon of my app. Okay, that's just visual, but it's nice. Um, the name of my application, let's call it Hello Sandbox Container. And then I can choose the type of resource that I want. Uh, in this case, I want a regular deployment. My deployment will create my replica set and will create my pods. Because remember, OpenShift in the end is Kubernetes. Okay, um, I could go for deployment config, which is more specific for OpenShift or serverless. We will show you serverless in another video. Anyway, let's keep deployment. We want a route that will expose our workload with a public URL. Okay. And finally, I want to set an environment variable that which is needed in my application. And I can easily do it from here. Look, I just typed the name of the key of my environment variable deployment. And the value is a container image. In a few seconds, you will understand why. I'm done. I hit create. That will bring me back to the topology view. And here you can see that is my deployment here. So my deployment will uh, create a pod. The pod is getting created. You can see that I have a service as well, a route. Um, you can check the logs while it's getting uh, created, you know. Oh, look, it's done. You can see by the way, it's a Quarkus app. Awesome. I go back here to my topology and I should have my application running. Let me, let me control that. Yeah, there we are. My application is running. I can hit the route that was created for me. And that brings me here. And I do slash hello on my endpoint. And it's a hello developer sandbox for Red Hat OpenShift. This has been deployed with a container image, a container image. Exactly. That is the value of my environment variable. That's why I needed to set it. Okay. So that was the first option. You see, pretty easy. I just point to my container image and it's get deployed. Let's go to the other option. I go back here to add. And this time, well, um, I'm a developer and I know how to uh, uh, work with Git. I know how to do my Git commit, my Git push, uh, how to handle pull requests, etc. Um, and the great thing here with the sandbox is that you can point directly to a Git repo. Okay. And OpenShift will take care of cloning your repo, building the, uh, the, the project, depending if it's a Java project, Node.js, he knows a lot of technologies. He will handle that for you. Okay. And then he will create an image, push it in the internal registry of OpenShift and again, create a deployment and create pod, etc. the route. Let's see that together. Click here. And again, here, even simpler. The, the only thing that I can enter here is a Git URL. Okay. So here you can just hit, uh, write the URL of your repo. In my case, it's on GitHub on my personal repo and it's called Hello Sandbox. 
4k by the way you can just go there on my repo fork it play with it if you want look at this builder image detected that means he detected that it is a java project so he has here um he will be using uh, a java open gdk builder image that is great that has maven and all the things i need uh the name let me change the name here let me call it hello sandbox git uh, again deployment deployment config or serverless deployment let's keep deployment for now i want a route to be created and just like before i want to set my environment variable deployment this time the value will be a git repo and i hit create again i'm will go back to the topology view and i should see here my second workload Okay, and this time it will take a bit more time. I'm, I'm not in front of it. No, look at this. Waiting for the build. Because this time he needs to do a bit more stuff. First, he needs to clone the repo. That is pretty fast. But then he needs to build my project. And it's a um, Java Maven project. So he has to download all the dependencies. Um, by the way, you can take a look at the build as well. So you can take a look at the logs of the build. Uh, so here you can see that he did the clone, git clone, okay. And he, in a few seconds, he will start downloading for me all the dependencies. Look at this. You can see it here. All the Quarkus dependencies, what is needed. So it takes some time. Okay, that is the first time. Uh, of course, there's all, uh, always uh the possibility of uh, installing like a local nexus in your sandbox or just running as a pod that will contain a cache of all your dependencies if you want your builds to go faster okay uh, here i'm just using a fresh environment so he needs to download everything anyway it should just take a matter of seconds it's a pretty small uh, project okay and uh, when he will be done again I, as i explained you he will create a container image for this he will push it in an internal registry of OpenShift. Then he will create the deployment resource, uh, the service, the route, etc., and we will be all set. Okay, so I'm checking here. Should be all good. We can go back to the topology and just checking for when it will be good. Let me take a look here. So waiting for the build. Yeah, it's a bit long. The build is still running anyway uh let's cross fingers yeah there we go build completed there we go so he's making my pod my pod is running awesome i can access my public route here i go to slash hello and i should see hello developer sandbox for red hat openshift it has been deployed with a git repo okay so so we are, we are sure these are two different applications. Well, it's the same application, but deployed in a different way. That brings us to the third option, okay? And that is, um, you might be a Java developer and you don't really know how to make a container. You haven't put your project yet on, on, on Git, uh, but you want to try it out on the sandbox, okay? Uh, one thing that you know how uh, to do is creating a jar because that's when you do a maven clean install it creates a jar so you have a runnable jar and you know what there's one option here to just drag and drop your jar from your local computer to this sandbox let me show you so i i built a project just before uh, i can show it to you here Look at this. I just did the build just before here, build success. Okay, that has created the jar for me. And um, here I have my file system with my jar, my runnable jar. And look at this. I can just grab this jar and bring it over. Look, just bring it over here. Drop jar file here. Just like when I upload a video on YouTube, uh, drag and drop. There we go, upload jar. Uh, I want the icon Java, that's okay for me. Um, I want to call this Hello Sandbox uh, jar, okay? A deployment, exactly all the same options that you saw before, okay? And a deployment, I set here my environment variable uh, using um, a jar file, okay? I hit create, that will bring me back to the topology. And here you can see that the, my jar file 
is uploading. Uh, again, he needs to do a build. It will be faster this time because um, he doesn't need to build the Java project. He doesn't do, need to do the Maven build because it's already there. What he needs to do is to create the container image. Okay, so let's take some time. So let me take a look here, but it should be faster. You just need to create the image. And when the image will be made, uh, it should be available here on my topology. Let's be patient and then we can check. Okay. Um, you might wonder here for the second one here, what this icon is, edit source code. <laughs> we will see that in another video, but since I grab my, my uh, app from Git, I can also directly edit my source code. We will see that in another video. While I was speaking, look at this. My jar, my jar has been uploaded. I can click here. I can go to the endpoint. Hello. And look at this. Hello, developer sandbox for Red Hat OpenShift. This has been deployed with a jar file. So, conclusion. Here in uh, around, what, less 11 minutes, I show you three different ways of deploying your application. I do a quick recap using a container image, using a Git repo, and uploading your jar file. You can try it out right now. You know uh, you can access the uh, developer sandbox. Let me go here. If you go to developers.redhat.com slash developer sandbox, okay, you can for free, okay, you just need a Red Hat developer account and no credit card as uh, just a phone number, you can get your own instance for 30 days and you can renew it as long as you want. And you will, act, will have access to all of that I sh just show you and even more. But that is stuff that I will show you in another video. Have fun with the sandbox. Bye-bye.